What is going on guys, DBG here, in this video we are going to be doing a gameplay with Brandon Ingram Diamond card. So this card apparently is pretty cheap. From what I've heard, Brandon Ingram Diamond is not an expensive card at all. People were telling me they were easily able to snipe him for 30k. So let's see, obviously a 26k bid on that one, let's see what price this guy is right now. Because I said in general he's probably worth around the 30k mark. But I thought that that would be like a, a low price for him. I didn't think he'd be. Like I did not expect him to be down this low this early. Although at the end of the day it might just be. Um, yeah someone might have just sniped him for 20 for 30 something okay. See what his actual price is. Okay so you know what. He's, he's less than 40. And thank you these moments guys. I thought they are going to be really expensive. Like the Chris Boucher and Kobe White ones. But I mean 37 and a half K is not a bad price. It really is, and he's so much better than the other diamond, Ingram. It's not actually a half bad price for the guy, to be honest. It is not a half bad price. So, six foot seven, 190. He has got half catch and shoot, half corner specials, half difficult shots, half acrobat, half reliance finisher, half contact finisher, fancy footwork, slittery downhill, quick first step, flexible, all good badges. He's also got gold clamps, gold interceptor, gold intimidator. He's got gold trapper, gold cross key score, gold fast break finisher, gold showtime. He's got gold stop and go, gold dead eye, gold deep fades, gold green machine, hold odds on other hot star and range extender. He has also got, in terms of his attributes, bad post game, but most people have a bad post game. Good driving layup. He's got a good mid range and good three ball. Good driving, awful standing dunk. Ball handle is 86, which is pretty decent. Again, anything above 86, like 86 is all you really need. Defense wise, okay steal but he's got a long wingspan he's got a oh, he's got a good block bad interior but doesn't really matter that much and not great perimeter defense hood speed speed ball and acceleration and 87 lateral let's check out the tendencies actually to see if he'll play d i mean decent pass interception he'll play lanes better than the steals that would suggest but i can't i can't say he's going to be the greatest defender in the world so Let's try him out and see what his dribble sigs and stuff are like. Again, apologies for a lack of unlimited gameplay. Um, I said it in my video earlier that I am just really not feeling well at the minute. Like, I was planning on doing the Gilbert Arenas grind right after this. I'm going to I'm going to sleep for an hour or two right after this. My, I think I've hit a wall after that uh, after that stream on Saturday, and I just kind of have to recover from that. Like, I didn't. Like I worked something like 31 hours combined on Friday and Saturday. So I think I kind of need to um, wind down a little bit after that. And I haven't really allowed myself to do that. But still, there'll be a top 10 point guard video later today. And there will be a rate my team. Uh, rate my team will be probably today. Yeah, rate my team will be today. Both of those will be today. Top 10 point guards and rate my team. But uh, yeah. So anyway, Ingram's release, obviously, if you guys don't know. It is the same release as, well, it's the same base as Kenyon Martin on Quick. Um, and it's the same base as last card. So it's the exact same defense as last card. His, and um, he's got the normal two escape, which is all right in current gen, awful on next gen. It's not nearly as bad. Oh, normal one's the worst one on, uh, what's it? It is the worst one on current, or on both gens, honestly. Um, but he does have the normal, if you're on next gen, he has a normal two size up, which is the best one in the game. Obviously not this. There's a size of escape is this here, and it's the curry slide um, animation. And the size up is I don't even know what size it is, but it does make a difference on current gen. And um, sorry, on next gen and uh, normal two is definitely the best one. Obviously the guy can out, is out here and able to do that weird um, spin dunk animation, spin layups, which is good. See so if he is off the quick stop. And he's fine. Yeah, he's fine after quick stop. He's fine. What's his behind? I think his behind the back's pro four, which literally makes you go like almost 90 degrees to the side. Yeah. Like it's good if you want to suddenly run sideways, but it basically forces you to run sideways, which isn't great. Dunk animations. I think he's got a couple. He's got gold showtime. That's definitely a showtime dunk anyway. And one of the things I will say is that when people, like showtime dunks are ba really bad to have on next gen because they get blocked a lot. You would rather a person on next gen just have basic dunks because the showtime badge, well, it doesn't exist. It becomes posterizer. So you would actually rather, like, Brand, um, Baron Davis 100% over uh, what's it, Lillard on next gen because of the fact he's got no showtime dunks. It's actually a positive 
having half showtime and no showtime dunks because half post rise were basic dunks. But uh, yeah, so an all around good card in a game. So anyway, now let's just go and grab three. And come on. Come on. You better hit this one. You gotta hit this one. Gotta hit this one, Ingram. Really? Now let's get on to it. So, in general, Ingram felt good. Like, Ingram does feel good to move around with. He really does feel good to move around with. That's kind of the same with a lot of, uh, a lot of players, honestly, that they... At this stage in the game, almost every card that I've just messed around with felt good, good movement-wise. I think that's kind of the way the game has gone right now. Like, every player has got their stats juiced up so much that they all seem to move quite well. So Ingram is a 94 overall diamond, and he is a power four. He can play, his secondary is power forward. I would rather secondary be two, as he's six seven. But look, it is what it is. All right, let's see who we're playing. Let's see who we are up against right here. Don't get. We got 70 percent glitch the last time we tried to play. When it, we got stuck at 56 percent, then we got 70 percent glitch. So I'm just hoping, and thankfully we didn't. Really? I'm pretty sure these were all... That Kareem was basically a guaranteed free locker code, wasn't he? And then Jao was a locker code. Yeah, this is, a, this is just a locker code team. This is probably some dude that played the game at some stage around Christmas and typed in three locker codes in the one day. All right, let's get it into Ingram's hands. Nope, and they're just, they just want to foul. Okay, we're good. Oh, quick stop. Out to it. Good shot. There we go. Like, there's certain situations where, like, I'm not comfortable quick stopping at that weird angle. So, I'll L2 quick stop sometimes. And sometimes, it's the L2 doesn't register. Oh, unlucky Ingram. That 7 3 wingspan is definitely going to help him with playing lanes, though. And he's got that high pass and exception tendency, which is good. Like, obviously, his steal rating is not high, but that length is going to help him. His defense is overall just going to be meh. I think meh actually might be being kind to his defense. There we go. Nice job there getting wide open. Big white right there from Brandon Ingram. Let's go. Deny. Deny. Unlucky. He reached. Why did he reach high there? Definitely not a lot pass. Unlucky. I just think he was not like fought, like not shooting too many. Let's say he's not shooting too many bad shots and he just shot that. So. There we go. Oh, bad by me. For someone running this team, he's not that bad. Normally, you would expect someone running this team to be very, very weak. What the hell was that? Wide open, green that. Oh, let's go. You guys saw how small the meter went there, and he goes and greens for the first time in the game. He's not getting phased by baits. He's actually taking some decent shots. He's just missing them because his players aren't great. This guy's just using this team as a challenge because he knows what he's doing. Oh, good steal. Got him. Wide open. And that is a fake green. Let's go. That's a green animation right there. I love this difficulty. Shoot wide open and it's going in. Big block. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. I was about to say, like, that makes a difference. Like, we're 12 2 up. But again, with the team this guy's running, I'm actually surprised that he's playing, that he's this good a player. Oh my god, he literally is just hitting every white. He is just hitting every single white right now. What have they done to online versus difficulty? Like, I knew a lot of whites went in. I didn't think it was literally every white. Like, yeah, it's too easy to green on next gen, but like, come on. Come on. Every single white goes in in this game. We have not missed. We've greened one shot and we have not missed. Um, have we missed? We may have missed early. I don't think we've missed. I'll check at the end of the game. Imagine if he misses the one... Imagine if the one shot he misses would take to shoot the ball at this stage. You're down 18 to 2. You're down 18 to 2. Just shoot the ball. I just want to play offense again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He stopped. And that is a big white right there. One green. One green. And we win 21 to 2. To be fair, the one green was the 30% contest, the one that was definitely going to be missed anyway. Alright, so let's see who, uh, let's see what 
his actual shooting percentage was there. He's like, surely it's very, very high. Seven of eight. He went seven of eight from three and we green one shot. Man, I can see why the, the lads, like I don't play it much of this difficulty. I can see why the lads that are playing 250 were very, very annoyed at 250 being on this difficulty. I definitely, definitely can see why they were very, very annoyed at that. Because it's literally a case of just get open and you'll score. And like Ingram's not even the best shooter in the world. Really, like one to why are one token and 100 MT still on the boards? Like really, why? I've gotten one token or 100 MT every si on as like one of my prizes every single ball drop. Like they should be taken off the ball the boards. Like there is no reason for those to be on boards. There really isn't. Like I, I understand them taking like if you take away the spinners and replace them with like juiced prizes. Um, like it was in 2K19, then I think everyone will be happy. But like, who cares about one token? Like, what's one token gonna get you? You're, you're losing out. Like, you're probably getting at least maybe you lose maybe maybe two tokens a game. Every win is probably losing two tokens on average, which adds up to a lot. Like, if you're playing 100 games a month, you're losing about 200 tokens, which is a free pink diamond player. Like, like it's not it's not easy at all. But um, yeah. So anyway, that is pretty much it. Brandon Ingram is good. He's okay. He's good. He's not great. Like when we're talking about, we're talking about there's levels to things. Like obviously, if you're a big Brandon Ingram fan, uh, go and use him. He'll be very nice. But just want to see at the small forward position. He's not as good as Jack Myron. He's like he's he's not that much better than Kendrick Williams. Although Kendrick Williams, like I know he doesn't have range, but he's not that much better than him. He is, he's obviously nowhere near as good as Jordan. He's not as good as Sean Marion. I mean, he's not, is he, is he that much better than Glenn Robinson? I really don't know. I really do not know if he's that much better than Glenn Robinson, to be completely honest. But he's not bad. Don't get me wrong. He's not a bad card at all. And I do think that he's someone that if you're a big fan of Pelicans, if you're a big fan of Brandon Ingram, you can have a lot of success with. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.